Well, hello, welcome back to another video. Now, you'll excuse the audio because I haven't got my microphone with us today, but doing a quick update, you might be able to see behind us there, there's a big American pickup. Now, you may remember that from one of the earlier videos, uh, Dave, one of my mates who owns the truck, and then we did a whole feature on his new arrival, which was a, a Mercury Marquis convertible. Now, if I flip the camera around, show you this. Not only can you see Dave's gorgeous Mercury, Mercury Marquis convertible, in a unit now this is in a top secret location about five miles off the a1 just outside of hexham but it's top secret so don't tell anybody but that's what the car looks like now and we're here today for an unboxing now we're not unboxing the car because that's already been done but if you have a look on the windscreen over there in the corner you may be able to make out there's a bit of a crack up the side of the windscreen and lo and behold there's a big box in the back of the truck which holds the windscreen so I'm just going to put the camera down because we need four sets of hands so you can set the back of the truck and then we'll do a live unboxing, well as live as you can be on a video and uh, make sure when the screen, windscreen comes out it's all solid as it should be. Okay, let's see what we've got. Here we go then, let's get the box opened and make sure the windscreen is in one piece. I would say it looks to be well packaged. It looks very well. Yes, I mean. Oh, that one's empty. Oh, look at that. That's empty. So it's obviously just a box yeah. within a box. Oh, well, the real deal must be in the oven. Oh, yes. Expandable through. Now, if you can see this, I'll put it on the other side so you can see. Somewhere in here, there's a bit of glass. Hopefully. Right, this is uh, going to be interesting to, to get out. So we're getting the top chunk of expandable foam out. It looks like expandable foam in a plastic, big plastic bag. Of course it weighs next to nothing, nice and light. And then we're just cutting down the side of the box to reveal the rest of the glass. There's part of it. Now it looks as though I think that's in it's been wrapped in plastic yeah. and then it's had a load of expandable foam forced into the box to hold it all in place while it's travelling. Well, it's intact at that end. And this end all seems okay, doesn't it? Yeah. Right then. So, there we are. I think I'm happy with that. A new windscreen. Dave's happy with it. You can tell by the smile on his face. Look at that. Dave's happy with the windscreen. The car's going to be happy with the windscreen. And hopefully, when the weather fares up and we'll get into Easter area times, this is going to be on the road and we'll be able to see it properly. The big thing is, above me, if I just turn around so you can see, uh, above me, there's a mezzanine. You can just see up there where the lights just come on. Now, up there, actually, I'll take you up there and have a quick sneaky look around. Now, you may remember from quite a while ago, one of the very early videos on the channel, if you've watched the channel from the beginning, one of the very early videos on the channel, we went to a different unit that Dave's F1 panel van was in. The, the one that's, uh, I think, well, it'll be 71 years old now. So, in this unit, we're now upstairs in the mezzanine. Now, I can't film anything that way because that's somebody else's part of the unit, so I'm not filming over there. But what I can show you is this. Now, as you can see, there's a, chass a chassis sitting there, or a chassis, as they would say in the States. And that's sitting here. Now, that is the original chassis from the F1 panel van, which is here, next to me. So, you can see now, it's all in bare metal. It's all dismantled. That's waiting to get worked on. There's one or two repairs that need doing body-wise to it. You can see down the bottom here, there's a, a little hole down there. But of course, this being 71 years old now, and, uh, and from the state, it's made of real steel, not made of the stuff we get over here. If it was over here and it was an English, or if it was an old 70-year-old Ford Transit, there would be nothing over left, it would all be dust by now. So we've got the chassis here. Now, what Dave's in the middle of doing, obviously this is the, the back end of it. You may recognise this, this is all 
Jag running gear at the back, and we've also got Jag suspension on the front of it. The reason why he's had the Jag suspension put on and the alterations made to the chassis to cope with the Jag suspension is because not only is he going to put it back on the road when it's finished, but he's also going to convert it to right hand drive. No, stop there. Now, you may have heard Dave shout in the background there saying, No, that's not right. Apparently, with quick update, breaking news here, he's just informed me that he's not converting it right hand drive, which is fantastic news because it's an American truck, it needs to be left hand drive. He's going to leave it left hand drive. <laughs> He's busy negotiating on a left-hand drive rack, so it's going to stay the way it was built in the first place. But I must show you this bit. Look at this. This is the original engine out of the truck. Well, it's the original engine that was in the van when he got it. The Chevy 327. Look at that. So it's going to have the same engine dot in as the Impala does on Supernatural. Only he's going to paint it black and fill the back end with various ghost hunting tools. You never know. Anyway. Well, here we are, back home. Hopefully you enjoyed that video and you enjoyed catching up on the updates on the fleet of cars that Dave's got. Now, one of the ones missing from that was his Lincoln. Obviously, he's got the blue Lincoln Continental as well. That's in a garage at, back at home where he lives. So we didn't include that one in there, but that's all of the cars that he's got at the minute. A uh, little bit of an update on them all. So if you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. I'll keep you up to date on what's happening in Dave's fleet. And obviously we'll keep you up to date on what's happening in my fleet. And <laughs> sooner or later when the weather does tend to get a little bit warmer, hopefully we'll get back in the garage and we'll do some more work on the garage roof. Because at the minute we're kind of halfway there. I just need to do some tidying up inside so I can get the front of the garage and we'll get caught up with that. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.